her sign. Mysterious. <laughs> Basically, my only outdoor chili this season was this mystery pepper from Tibet. Grown from the seeds of a dried fruit that a former colleague brought me from his vacation. Despite the fruits standing upright, I guess it's an annuum and not a frutescence, uh, mainly because there's only one flower per node. My hopes that this might be some interesting land rays are very slim. I guess it's not much different than the stuff you get in any supermarket. The only cultivar from Tibet that I'm aware of is Tibetan Lhasa, supposedly an F1 hybrid. So, which one should I pick for taste testing? Hmm. I do not feel really all that adventurous today, so the large one is out. The small ones might be hotter per se, but the absolute capsaicin content is likely to be higher in the large fruit. Just like with coffee, a small espresso has a high concentration of caffeine, but if you drink a large pot of regular coffee, you still get more caffeine. So um, I guess I will do the boring approach and choose this one of intermediate size. Yeah, it looks nice deep red, so it's likely to be very much ripened. Set those aside. And uh, again, since I'm not really sure if it's um, an annuum or a fruit descent, although I do not really have, uh, maybe not any experience at all with fruit descent, so I cannot speak about that, but with annuums, they are somewhat scratchy uh, in my throat, so I might have to cut a bit more than with a regular genense, which is uh, the main variety I grow and consume. Um, so although annuums are not that hot, they are more irritant to me. But uh, I do not think this will be too hot. So I do not have prepared any uh, measures to put out the fire in my mouth, but I have eaten quite a bit today, so it should dilute in my digestive tract. Oh! Interesting smell. makes me salivate in a good way. It's, I guess floral would be the right word, you know, floral, floral, like a flower. Hmm, interesting. The growth pattern wasn't all that special to me. It didn't really grow very fast or very slow. And the yield was also not, not very men worth mentioning. Uh, not very much, but not very little, considering the uh, circumstances. So I guess whether I will deal with this variety in the future will uh, largely depend on the taste of this one. I guess I'll just pop the whole thing in and we'll see. Mm -hmm. uh. So it was juicy, the walls of the fruit were relatively thick, the heat hit me right away when the juices sprayed out, then it died down for a moment and now it's firing up, but not too much. Um, 
My very first chili pepper was a cayenne and this reminds me very much of it but it's um, more pleasant tasting. It's sweeter, more, <clears throat> more aromatic. The basic taste is, uh, at least to me, um, the same as cayenne but uh, the cayenne that I tasted back then but it's uh, much more sweeter and <clears throat> not that scratchy in the throat <coughs> I did breathe in and some of the juices got into my throat hmm it's whatever it is it's a good alternative to cayenne I'd say maybe I don't know perhaps have I tried Thai chilies the regular ones it's probably also very similar to those so yeah not not bad um, some of my own chili pepper creations uh, received <coughs> poorer tastings, poorer results uh, than this one. So I will definitely save those, but uh, right now I don't have any plans to um, do something with this variety, but I will save them. Um, yeah. Not bad, not bad. It's a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm.